Good morning. Am I an A, B, D, L? An adult baby diaper lover. That's got to be the number one comment and question we receive on email and Twitter and comments on this channel. I am a hobbyist. I am a nostalgist. I am a gamer. I am a fur daddy. I am a marksman. I am definitely a photographer. I am a cyclist. I am a skateboarder. I am a craftsman. I made this mantle and stuff, that's why I say that. The list could go on forever. Uh, my point is that when you're little, people say you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. But am I an ABDL? You could be anything you want to be. But there are some things that you are, that you have to adapt and accept and deal with. We have talked about it before. Um, incontinence is something I've dealt with for many years now. And, you know, for the first uh, few years, it was um, catheters. Now, these are uh, indwelling catheters. Um, I had tried these a little bit. Mostly it was um, intermittent, cath catheter intermittent catheterization. Uh, that's where you would, uh, you know, like every 45 minutes to an hour, up to two hours, I'd go in and, and cath myself and, and drain my bladder. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, I still work. That's not unfortunate. I still have a career. And it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, it's something I've done for ooh, uh, 27 years now. And I'm very proud of the progress I've made and the advancements. And it's the environment I work in is not a very um, conducive environment for intermittent catheterization. So we had moved to these for a while. But um, I was getting a lot of uh, UTIs. So, you know, I would just... Uh, intermittent catheterization and using um, these in the middle. Ah, these. Uh, these are just pads. Honestly, for someone dealing with the type of incontinence I have, these are trash. These are just garbage. You know, they they help for someone who, who um, dribbles once in a while. Maybe after urination or after leaving themselves a little bit of dribble or maybe a little bit of dribble before they feel the urge. Uh, that's all these are good for. They're not good for me. Um, I was using a uh, incontinence nurse. Um, it was someone that we were working with that was um, helping with the problem and finding the perfect solution for uh, the lifestyle I lead. And next we tried these. These are just um, like pull-up underwear. They're there's some absorbency to it. So this still with um, intermittent catheterization. And again, this was just uh, a leak after leak after leak. Uh, headache, worry, uh, problem. Um, you know, so the next step is uh, store brand um, incontinence diapers. So this is a this is a depend that you could buy at Walmart or Walgreens or CVS, you know, any type of uh, local pharmacy. They have these in stock. And they were working. They helped. Uh, that was the biggest step towards non-worry in a few years is when we moved to these. But this is what got us looking for, well, if these are work, there's got to be something better. Cause so, the, you know, we started looking online. And that's when we became aware of the ABDL community and at first yeah it's a, a fetish we understand that we recognize it so that's when we found things like 
the Dry 24-7 and the Abina. Um, what a difference. I mean, look at... Look at this compared to this. So this is what you can buy at the store. This is what you get online. Uh, this is a Dry 24-7. This is still my go-to daily diaper. Um, the difference between this and this is better than the difference of this and you know what it's better than the difference of this and this like that's the difference so yeah I'm hooked this is a solution this is making life better this is making life easier but then we start noticing and comparing um, you know uh, uh, how much absorption does then we start noticing and comparing diapers with how much absorption they have. And this is one of the most absorbent diapers we have found. Lots of absorbency. Yeah, it has a print. And at first, honestly, for a few months, we wouldn't even order these or I wouldn't even, when Allie would say, let's try them, I'd say, no, I, I don't want to wear something like this. I, this, is, this is kind of working. This is solving 95% of our problems. There's no reason to wear something like this. There's a stigma involved with incontinence in someone who wears a diaper. I totally understand that. But over time, and thankful for my wife, you know, this is a, you know, I put it in the back of my mind and I'm someone who I would like to say, you know, I don't, I don't care, but I do care. I do my best to, you know, be confident about yourself. Uh, be proud of yourself. You know, always strive for being better. Always make the next right decision. But thankful for my wife, Allie, through conversation, you know, we've, we have started to divulge in the uh, ABDL community type diapers. They work super well. Are we aware of the ABDL community? Of course, of course we are. We order stuff like this from wearing clouds and rears. And <clears throat> it's, it's really comforting for me to know that there's actually a large group of people who um, find, find comfort and joy in wearing something like this. That's amazing for someone like myself who constantly deals with um, you know, a couple times a day I'll have uh, self-doubt and and I'll think to myself, what are, you, what, what are you doing, Kev? Why are you wearing something like this? What if something happens? What if you're in a car accident and, you know, you have a diaper with a little lion on it? But for most part of the day, it's, you know, I have a problem. This is how we deal with it. You know, it's, it's a big uh, a step up from something like this, a catheter. And it is what it is. So, are we aware of the ABDL community? Of course we are. I appreciate it. I love it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to be part of the ABDL community. A group of people that find pleasure and joy and comfort in wearing a diaper like that. It would be nice to be part of that community where there's acceptance, no judgment. It, it sounds really neat. So... Am I ABDL? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, we are. And I'm gonna thank my wife for that. So, just an update uh, to answer a lot of the questions we get on emails about are you an ABDL? Are you aware of the ABDL community? Uh, hopefully this video answers stuff. Hopefully this video answers those questions. Um, if it doesn't, I'm sure I'm gonna address it again in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.